I am uh, quite busy. It's nice to be a musician, composer in New Zealand and say you're busy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Warren Maxwell sure knows how to craft a tune. I listen to Tool, and, you know, Metallica, ACDC, and then the next thing I can listen to Chopin. I remember as a kid when I used to go to sleep, just having the radio on really quiet, you know, all night, and then I'd wake up to it. One day, Warren woke up to a music career of his own. Trinity Roots was his baby. To make a fuss, to be the man. He had a hand in Fat Freddy's drop too. Warren was one of the faces of the Wellington music scene until six years ago when he decided he needed a change of pace. You've toured the world, you've had all these successful albums, and now you're living in Featherston. Yep, Featherston. Oh, I just wanted to be a big fish in a small pond, you know. <laughs> when you've experienced a bit of that kind of fame, it's almost like you want to polarise yourself and go the other way and, and become a bit of a recluse sort of thing. In an old boarded up beauty parlour, Warren is left in peace. Are you growing up? I might be. I think as a person I've matured a bit, you know, I've grown up a bit and it's all about my family, you know, really. It's not about me and the big rock star dreams. The hallmark of the provincial dream? Owning a couple of acres. To be a musician and to buy a house, for a start, that's, that's a big deal. That's a big deal, man. It's impossible. I almost cried when the bank manager said yes, you know. Really? I almost cried. Not, not quite. I'm tough. But, um, oh, it's just such a good feeling. And house prices out here in the Wairarapa? 50 to 60% lower just because of, you know, you're an hour out of town. It's, yeah. it's crazy. The space, the quiet, all feeding Warren's creativity. We've got a couple of acres, a few chocks, you know, a couple of sheep. And mum and dad, we've got a little granny cottage for them, so to be able to do that in Wellington or Auckland... Wouldn't have happened. You'd have to be a millionaire. Composing for a film at the moment. So I do that from Featherston, from my studio in Featherston, because technology allows it. I just push buttons and drop and drag, and it seems to work. 20 years ago, you'd have to probably send a CD by horseback. How times have changed. Here in Masterton, Warren's just opened a music venue, King Street Live. <laughs> I wouldn't have done this in Wellington. It's, it's too competitive and too expensive. It would have been a few more zeros on the end of that, that check. <laughs> it's a win-win for everyone. It's a win-win for Masterton, because no bands really tour through Masterton, because there's nowhere to play. It's a win for the bands, you know, all the touring bands, because it's another really good venue for them to play in. It's a win for us, because it means that we can bring all of our friends here. The move to the Wairarapa is paying off. It's one of the country's fastest growing regions. And you've got some pretty famous neighbours. Yes. James Cameron. Yes, James Cameron's just Peter down Jackson. the road. Yeah, Pete's up the road, you know. Obviously there's... mates of yours. Oh, yeah, we're, we're tight, you know, we're close. Uh, you know, it rings me up, but I, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not far from the truth. Starting a gig venue here has taken money and sweat, and it's risky place might fall over next year, you, you never know. But Warren's musical ventures have always found their feet. He's hoping this one will too. I think in the artistic world there are a lot of dreamers, but it's making them reality, yeah. that's the key. Yeah.